Hi, welcome to Kauzervice channel. This is the continuation video of marginal costing techniques. In the previous video, we have seen the basic concept of marginal costing techniques, formulas and we have seen one comprehensive numerical problem. You can find the playlist link in the description box. Also, you can find the links for various topics on various subjects as a playlist in the description box. Okay. So, in this video, we are going to see applications of marginal costing techniques that is marginal costing techniques in decision making. So, please try to watch the complete video to get the clarity about this topic. Okay, before we get into the video, please subscribe my Kauzervice channel and hit the bell icon to get the further notification. Now, let's get into the video. First, let us see what is the applications of marginal costing. See, marginal costing is the most powerful and popular technique in aid of managerial decision making. Okay. So, marginal costing it is a technique which is used in managerial decision making. Okay. So, here we have some set of applications of marginal costing. Okay. I am going to read one by one. The first one is key factor or limiting factor. Second one make or buy decision. Third one fixation of selling price. Then export decision, sales or product mix decision, product elimination decision, plant merger decision, plant purchase decision, further processing decision and the last one shutdown decision. So, these are the list of applications of marginal costing in managerial decision making. We are going to see each and every applications of marginal costing along with the numerical problem. In this video, we are going to see the first application that is key factor or limiting factor. Let us see the problem. First, let us see the first application of marginal costing that is key factor or limiting factor. So, first let me tell you what is the meaning of key factor or limiting factor. Any factor which is related with production or sales which imposes limits on the production or sales can be called as limiting factor or key factor. For example, sales potential may be limited. Sometimes production capacity may be limited due to limited availability of skilled labor or uh, machine R or sometimes raw material may be in short in supply. Okay, sometimes finance also limited. Okay, so these are the various possibilities of a limiting factor. Okay, in that case, how to make a decision? So that here the management will use a marginal costing technique to take a decision when there is any limiting factor. Now let us see the problem for better understanding about key factor or limiting factor. Look at the problem. The following particulars are taken from the records of a company engaged in manufacturing two products X and Y from a certain raw materials. Okay. See particulars product X and product Y rupees per unit rupees per unit. Under particulars we have some information. The first one sales rupees 150 per unit product X. Product Y 200 per unit. Next one. Consumption of material for product X 4 kg is required. For product Y 6 kg is required for per unit. The next one material cost rupees 40 for product Y 60 rupees. Then direct wages 6 rupees per hour. So totally for product X rupees 18 is required. That is direct wages rupees 18 for product X and product Y rupees 12. The next one direct expenses for X 8 rupees for product Y 6 rupees. Next one variable overheads rupees 10 for X rupees 20 for Y. Next one machine hours used for product X 3 hours for product Y 2 hours. Total fixed cost rupees 40,000. This 40 is applicable for both the products together. See, with this information, they ask you to comment on the profitability of each product that is X and Y. Okay, so profitability of each product when sales in value is limited. The first limiting factor is sales in value is limited. In that case, 
which product is more profitable that you have to calculate. The next one total sales potential in units is limited. Same thing only but the first one is sales in value that is in rupees. The next one total sales potential in units is limited. Okay. And the third one material is in short supply. And the last one production capacity in terms of machine are is the limiting factor. Okay. So these are the four different limiting factors is given in this problem. Based on this limiting factor, they ask you to comment on the profitability of each product. Okay. See, in order to find out the profitability of two different products, here for this kind of problems, we need to follow two different steps. Number one is we need to calculate contribution per unit because they are going to find the profitability. So, profitability depends on contribution. Okay. So, what is the formula for contribution per unit? Selling price per unit minus variable cost, total variable cost per unit, you will be getting contribution per unit. First, I am going to calculate contribution per unit for X and Y. Okay, for that, first you have to take sales. Sales per unit of product X is 150 rupees, product Y 200 rupees. Okay, okay we need to take all the variable cost per unit. See here, material cost. 40 rupees, 60 rupees. Direct wages, 18 rupees, 12 rupees. Direct expense, 8 rupees, 6 rupees. Variable overheads, 10 rupees and 20 rupees. Okay. So, these are the various components of variable cost. Okay. We need to find out the total variable cost. Then we can subtract from selling price per unit to find out contribution per unit. Now, see the calculation, see the solution, statement showing key factor contribution, particulars product X per unit rupees, product Y per unit in rupees. So, selling price per unit for X 150, for Y 200 rupees per unit, then subtract variable cost. These are the components of variable cost for X and Y. So, these are the total variable cost per unit of product X. For product Y, 60 rupees, 12 rupees, 6 rupees and 20 rupees. So, total variable cost per unit of product Y is 98 rupees. Okay. What is the formula for contribution per unit? Selling price per unit minus variable cost per unit. You will be getting contribution per unit. Okay. Contribution per unit of product X is 74 rupees. Product Y 102 rupees. Okay. So, we have calculated contribution per unit for X and Y. So, first step is over. Look at the problem. Okay. The second step is contribution divided by limiting factor. Here we have four different limiting factors. No. So, we are going to divide the limiting factor with contribution per unit. That is all. That is the steps to find out the profitability of different products. Okay. Look at the first key factor. Sales in value is limited. See, the first key factor is sales in value is limiting factor. Okay. In that case, this is the formula. We need to calculate PV ratio. What is the formula for PV ratio? Contribution per unit divided by selling price per unit into 100. So, we need to divide selling price per unit to find out the PV ratio. Okay. So, contribution by selling price into 100. You will be getting 47.333 percentage for product X, product Y, 102 rupees divided by 200. That is selling price is 200 per unit into 100. You will be getting 51 percentage. Now, compare the two different PV ratio. See the solution. They ask you to comment on the profitability of product X and Y on the basis of different key factor. So, what is the first key factor? Sales in value is limited. Okay. Based on PV ratio only, you can decide most profitable one. For X, 47.33. For Y, 51. So, which one is most profitable? Highest one is Y. 51 percentage is more than 47.33. So, product Y is more profitable. Okay. Now, see the second one. Look at the problem. 
the first one is over that is sales in value is limited for that we need to calculate pv ratio based on pv ratio only we have decided okay the second one is total sales potential in units in units is limited okay so for this you can simply compare the contribution per unit in order to decide which one is most profitable one so for the first one pv ratio is a base for the second one contribution per unit is the base because here sales potential in unit is limited so contribution per unit is the base to decide the profitability one see the calculation part see the contribution table contribution per unit for product x how much 74 rupees that is selling price per unit minus total variable cost per unit is equal to contribution per unit for x 74 rupees for y 102 rupees now just compare two different contributions in order to find out the most profitable one which one is highest one or two is the highest that is product y gives more contribution than product x look at the second comment sales potential in units is limited what is the base contribution per unit is the base okay so based on contribution per unit x 74 product y 102 so which one is most profitable 102 is the most profitable so product y is more profitable okay let us see the third one look at the problem the third one is when material is in short supply okay here the key factor limiting factor is material is in short supply okay so for that we need to calculate contribution per unit of material consumption okay so material consumption is here 4 kg product x required 4 kg of material product y required 6 kg of material okay so we need to calculate contribution per material that is kg of material okay see the calculation of contribution per kg of material okay as i told earlier product x required 4 kg product y required 6 kg okay simply divide with the kgs so 74 is the contribution per unit divided by material consumption is 4 kg for x for y contribution per unit 1 or 2 divided by 6 kg material is required now you can find out the contribution per kg of material so x 18.5 rupees y 17 rupees per kg so now which one is most profitable see the comment for third factor when material is in short supply on what basis we are deciding contribution per kg of material okay so based on contribution per kg of material only we are deciding so which one is most profitable for x 18.5 for y 17 so which one is highest x 18.5 is highest one so product x is more profitable okay now see the fourth one look at the problem the last factor is production capacity in terms of machine r is the limiting factor so here machine r is the limiting factor so on what basis we are going to decide based on machine r okay so how many r is required for product x and how many hours is required for product y see the question machine r used 3 hours for product x 2 hours for product y okay now we need to calculate contribution okay per r we need to calculate see the calculation part see the calculation okay that is contribution per machine r okay so what is the formula contribution per unit divided by number of hours is required for product x and number of hours is required for product y okay 74 by 3 hours 1 or 2 by 2 hours so this is the answer okay so now just compare 24.67 and 51 which one is most profitable see the comment for fourth one that is when production capacity in terms of machine r is a limiting factor so we are decided based on contribution per machine r for x 24 rupees 0.67 for y 51 rupees so which one is most profitable y 51 is more profitable no so product y is more 
profitable okay look at the problem here we have selected the profitability based on the four different key factor okay we have applied two different steps number one is we have calculated contribution per unit for x and y and then divided with the key factor for the first one is contribution by sales into 100 for the second one is contribution per unit is taken as base and the third one material so contribution by material consumption taken as base and the fourth one machine r is the base no so contribution by machine r is taken to take a decision so these are the four different cases under limiting factor hope you understood this concept so this is the way to apply marginal costing techniques in decision making when there is limiting factor or key factor. We will see the rest of the applications in the upcoming videos. Okay. So you can find the playlist link in the description box. Hope you like this video. Please hit the like, comment, subscribe and share with your friends. Thank you.